All right, here's the problem with fentanyl persuasion so far. Here's me doing a bad job of persuading you that you need to do something about fentanyl, okay? Um, Blah, blah, blah statistics. Blah, 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 big alarming number. Blah, 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 worse than some wars. Blah, 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 coming from Mexico. Blah, 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 comes from China. Now, that gets you right off the couch, doesn't it? <clears throat> statistics. Or how about I, I show you a graph? Here's my graph. Look at that line. That line was going like this, but now it's going like this. It's a line. Beware of my line on my graph. Run away. There's a line on a graph. Nothing. Here's how you deal with the problem. You get your AI, which can now make uh, artistic renderings of anything. And you program an AI to create a new uh, visual piece of art every day. And you tell it to make a photorealistic, not a not an artistic version, but a, like a photorealistic, like it was a photograph, picture of a pile of a, a 300 dead Americans, like a different pile of corpses. And you do a different pile every day, you just tweet it. And you say, the, here are the people killed by fentanyl today. Today. 300. Because if you hear onesies and twosies, and, you know, my stepson died, and, you know, your brother's cousin died... It's horrible on a small level, but it doesn't make you act. Do you know why the Holocaust is such a persuasive part of our our being? It's because of the visuals. It's the visuals. Do you know what the other um, so-called Holocaust don't have going for them? Pictures. Pictures. Right? You know, we always hear about the like Armenian. Wasn't there some Armenian Holocaust, right? I've never seen a picture. I've heard, I've heard statistics, and they're alarming, right? But if you don't have the pictures, you're not scaring people. So let's use AI to create a literally a pile of corpses every day. Tweet it out. I'll retweet it. I'll retweet it every day. And we will make it a big enough problem so that the United States decides it's a you know, something to do about it. And by the way, if I were a Republican, I would say I would attack the cartels in Mexico. And I would make the, I would make the Democrats argue that that's a bad idea. Because I don't think they can. The trouble is it would lure them into your frame. They don't want to be there. <laughs> and, and I don't, you know, this could backfire because it's pretty radical. 